Thanks, Nicky and Liam, for talking to us. Um, I wonder if you could just start off by talking about how you got involved in the way days and how you came to be the lead actors in the film. Oh God! Well, <laughs> well, well it, it, it comes just down to uh, getting a call from your agent. Yeah. Um, you know that's the first step. Okay. Uh, and then you know uh, this is the film. Would you like to you know do you do an audition for it? So that's the next step. Yeah. And then you go then you go in and then you get the script and then you read the script. And it turns out the parts that we were going for were major, really really yeah. huge parts. Yeah. So so that was even more of a, like a and that's another step just to get over yeah. that. But then but then just just doing it and reading it. Um, you know, it really helped get into the part, and then to to accept the part. Then yeah. after that was was something <laughs> mind blowing. Big step, yeah. Yeah, well, big, the, step. The big back, challenge as well. Yeah. The backstory was they they um, once they decided they got the director and they you know the script was all there mm. and they needed the cast. They turned to um, Michelle Smith, who's one of the best casting directors in England, about Shadow of a Doubt, and they asked her to bring up a short list of actors. Yeah. Who she thought would be good for this role and. Very, very lucky enough, me and Lou's name happens to be on that list, which, you know, I eternally thank Michelle Smith for. Yeah. And she called us in, and, you know, we all went in there, and it was just a case of who fitted what parts best, and that's how we got the entire cast together, because mm. I'd say 99% of the people that were there when we all auditioned are all in the film in right. some degree or the other, which is fantastic because the group of artists that's there, the pool of talent that's there is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. it come, really comes across in the yeah. film. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what the play what they wanted as well, which is yeah. great that you, you, you see that as well. Mm. Um, and when you were actually, when the film was, uh, you know, it was being cast and it was being put together, it was the writer, Kevin Sampson, was he involved in the process at all? Yeah, well, he was, he was executing, so producing. Right. Okay. So, so, but he was really hands on, but not yeah. in a way that was at all, you know, uh, too involved. He, he was really brilliant with us, yeah. made us cups of tea and stuff, and talked about what if there was something in the script that we didn't really get, you know, to explain, mm. uh, and we can kind of we went from there really with it. He was on set every day. Oh, so he's really well. involved. Yeah, 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 he was all. Well, it's his baby. Yeah, the film yeah. was. It was. It yeah, was yeah, his yeah. kind of first book, and yeah. seeing it come to life, it took ten years to yeah. do. That was probably a big thing for him as well, more overwhelming for him than it yeah. was for us, probably. Absolutely. So I think he just he wanted to be there, be involved as much as he can. But mm. it's not like he was there <coughs> to throw it away around and say, "Hey, that's not what I wrote or anything like." He was yeah. there literally to say, "Look, hey, if you need me, I'm here." And you, you know, that's ask me anything you want. Yeah. And it was really important because most of the our source material that we have comes from Kevin because we weren't yeah. around in that era, yeah. so we needed someone's insight into it. Kevin mm. was more than happy to say, "Hey." I'm here if you need me pick my brains. I know, I, I, and as producers as well, they were just so different to what producers have. I mean, I've met some lovely producers in my yeah. time, but, but because they were new and so, so fresh, the, the kind of atmosphere on set was completely different. I mean, considering we was having the, with the two lead roles, we mm. um, was given enough freedom to, to kind of give, give what we'd got and not be kind of pressured into anything else, I think. And I think that was vital. Because mm. I, I think Dave, Dave Hughes and Kevin Sampson uh, a great partnership, and I think it's because of because of they're just so normal, right. and I think that really ref that works. reflects yeah. on the performances. Because you know, it's not like a kick ball that scramble. The bell's not ringing. You're not you're <laughs> not thinking. You've got to do your lines quickly before lunch. You're not thinking about lunch. You're just thinking about the moment. Yes, and that's the film, yeah. and, that, and it's a great team, really. Yeah, well, that comes across in the film. That's very much how it feels. You know, that there was a lot of sort of love put into it. You mm. know, and that's with the director as well, because yeah. he he absolutely loved the story, and yeah. he, he was completely with it and he and he was also saying take time and mm. and that's the first time I think for you as well I mean the opportunities we've had with other directors would probably be limited but, yeah. but we've had so much time with Pat oh that's good yeah uh, so we, we had this chance just to create the characters mm. the way we thought yeah didn't we yeah we did we, we, he really give us free reign mm. it's very very rare and unusual oh, I can imagine, for yeah. any actor let alone actors with as little film experience as mm. us to just be able mm. to Go and do it as you think it should, it should be done, you know. Yeah. And he really let us do that. And if you didn't agree with it, then he, you know, he'd say, "Well, why don't we do it this way?" But he never pressured you into anything. He never, he never made you feel like you'd done anything wrong. And mm. it, was, it was a fantastic collaboration, and you That's don't really get good. that. Yeah, so, it must be really nice as actors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I swear to God, the, what, what you see there, there's a lot of instinct from us. I must admit, there's a lot yeah. of stuff in there that we've done ourselves. Right. But, but the whole, the whole thing, the whole character. Uh, um, 
rise or the, the whole the journey that they, they go through is because of Pat's sensitivity to, to what we're doing mm. and that was it, it was it was incredible to, have, to work with such a great director and, yeah. and obviously the DOP was absolutely fantastic and the whole the whole cast was good so it was, <laughs> was, it, it was on for a winner yeah it was a good atmosphere yeah and what I was wondering about your relationship you know Elvis and Carty were really close through the film and they go through a lot of different you know, tough times together I mean was that something you worked on before you started shooting to try to sort of get that friendship going, that relationship, and did you work on that? We, like, we, we were friends before we auditioned. Oh, we, met each, well, we met each other before auditions and we'd right. always made a point of talking to each other and having a good laugh with each mm. other. And there was a lot of banter going about. Yeah. So when it comes to auditioning, we had a basis there already. We felt very comfortable with each yeah. other, you know. And I think that comes through. And then it was just a case of sitting down and spending more time with each other. And the more we did, the, the mm. closer friends off camera we got and that just it just comes through on yes, camera as a law it's a yeah. massive aid when you're trying to do something yeah, well, that focuses on such an intense relationship because obviously Nicky I, I think he's a fantastic actor um, and he gave me freedom uh, to do what I wanted I mean what I mean by that is if, if, if there's a little bit of intimidation mm. he wouldn't mind me getting in his face he'd hold his ground and he wouldn't kind of some actors might find it a bit like why don't you just sit there and read the script normally why do you have to come in but it's the freedom that he gave me as an actor it helped me perform as well yeah. So and also the fact that I intimidate um, Albus intimidates Carter a lot throughout the film and that helped because because, because because of the close proximity as well, it was it was useful for me just to be able to you know get in his face, and he gave me that freedom, mm. and that was very important as well. Yeah. So the relationships uh, that you see on, on on the screen is is down to a lot of things. It's to, to do with the way it's shot, the, the director, um, the way it's written, but also just down to uh, what we created before the camera started rolling. Yes, yeah, that's and all the pat ads we all got on, you know, and that's mm. a massive, massive. It must have um, been, yeah, I mean, really plus that we all did get on because there's so many things you have. Yeah, I can't stand that guy, but on yeah. this, we actually <laughs> all did get on it. But we write that, I've never had so much fun for me, like, oh, that's and that. <laughs> yeah. I think that hopefully that all comes through. Oh, it does. I mean, what was the atmosphere like? Because I was thinking, you know, once you got the haircut, you got the, the outfit on, you all together. Mm. I mean, what, what was the atmosphere like on set whilst you're actually shooting? Like a like a film set, it yeah. was kind of like a film set. I mean, it wasn't kind of it wasn't like we're going into a different world. It's yeah. still there's still a guy stood there with a big light, and but um, but when when we was all together, yeah, it was there was a different feel because yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, the, this the the scene where you see the pack for the first time come on the corner, yeah, that was one of the first scenes we all did together. Um, and that's such a massive scene. Yes. I, think, I think it's so it's such an incredible scene. Just to, it's yeah. so yeah, exhilarating. Mm -hmm. um, but you can imagine, just before we did that take, yeah. we're, we're, we're all around the corner waiting. And we're all just stood there looking at each other. We've all got yeah. foppish wedges. Yeah. We've all, we're all wearing the gear for the yeah. first time together. Mm -hmm. and, then, um, and then, so then that, that feeling, you, you do really get into it. Yeah, you don't, see, you don't see the lights anymore. Yeah. The camera's not there. Yeah. You, we were going for a scrap mm -hmm. in, in our heads. And one of the things that really struck me about the film was the authenticity of the whole thing, from the clothes to the look of it and to the music. I mean, again, was that something that you know Ken Sampson really pushed and the director pushed yeah. on you? Yeah. Um, it's really important to them. Yeah. Uh, personally, it's not just yes. like we can get away with a few things. Mm. Kevin probably wouldn't really. Uh, yeah. He probably he'd rather chuck it in the bin and see <laughs> see 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 his his baby mm. his, his his film uh, turn into something that wasn't actually true. And I'd like to show a comment then mm. the, the fact that you could relate to it because you remember it. Yeah. The fact it's all it's authentic. It's yeah. so important. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he begs steal and borrow, did not he? For for the game because you, well, you can't just say, yeah. you can't just walk into a shop no. and say can he have some 1979 <laughs> casual game? Yeah. 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 So. He yeah. had to go to a lot of people and he went to a lot of trouble and yeah. you know, basically he turned around to us quite a few times and said, look, if we couldn't have done it, mm. we couldn't have got this game, we wouldn't have done we it. Done it. It's as simple as that. If yeah. we couldn't have got the music, we wouldn't have done it. Yeah. It, it, it all ties in, it's all one big package. Mm. It would have been a completely different film. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. it, it needs, all the parts need to be, yeah. otherwise it's just not going to go. Yeah. So, and I think that was as important to yeah. Kevin as casting it and anything mm. else, writing it, you know, mm. it all had to be there and he had to be able to see it and everyone had to be able to experience that. Because mm. like I said, we, we weren't in that, we were in that area, we'd yeah. never been there, so to be able to put people in the area that weren't there, that's what the aim was, mm. to let people go back and relive that time. That was it, that's how it